Back up, back up, back up, back up. Do? Don't, don't look. Okay, stop. Behind you, there are five rifles. Two of them are airsoft guns, okay? Okay. So, I want you to, in uh, five seconds, tell me which... Five seconds? Yeah. Oh, there's fair. some rain. Five seconds, tell me which ones are airsoft guns. You have to touch them and go, this one and this one. You have five seconds. That's not okay? fair. Five seconds is not long enough. It's because the stakes are high. If you get it correctly within five seconds, I will sell all of my guns. <laughs> Deal? Um, okay. All right, back. You can back up a little closer so you can start really close. Okay, I'm gonna count with my hand. I'm gonna go five, four, three. Okay. okay. Actually, I'm gonna count. I'm gonna count this way. When we get to five, it's over. You know it's illegal for you not to have the orange tip on it, right? Um, no, it's actually not. It's illegal it's not? to... Yeah, they sell with an orange tip. Oh. Don't get fancy, okay? There's mosquitoes biting me. No, that's a fly. You stink. There's no flies on me. Okay, ready? Five seconds. And go. One, two, uh, three, four, five. Oh, you picked the one suppressor. Wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the guns! No, this is a real one too. You picked two real ones. That's real, that's real. This is airsoft. This I is airsoft. I figured this out if you had given me... You had a seconds. chance to solve all of your problems in Look. life. And you lost it. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Glad you're here, but first and foremost, before we go any further, I want you to know this video is not like all the other videos on the channel. Like, we're not destroying anything, or we're not testing how strong body armor is, or anything like that. If you're looking for a video like that, go check out literally any other video on this channel. This video, though, is celebrating something. One of these, well, two of these are not like the others. We have airsoft rifles finally ready. We've been working on these for a really long time, trying to get them all perfect, and we've done it. Let me take you through kind of our process to get to where we are with the airsoft rifles. First, this. This is a gun I got from F1 Firearms. It was my very first skeletonized Air 15. Skeletonized in the fact that you can, you know, stick your fingers through there. It's all open, so you can really see the gun working. This gun is made for competition, and that's why it looks so cool and blam and in your face. And I thought, you know what would be cooler? If we made a competition gun, but made it Demolition Ranch style. So we came out with the Demolition Ranch version of this. You can see it has a little bit different cutouts, and I wanted it to be all black and camo. And that's what we have here. So we have the Demolition Ranch AR. I have since added a Proof Research carbon fiber barrel on there. Here's another one. This actually, check this out. Let me show you this thing. Serial number 0001. The very first Demolition Ranch AR. And it's mine. It's probably worth, since it's the first, I would guess in the ballpark of 600000 to six hundred million dollars. It's it's somewhere in there. That's what I would sell it for. If anyone's interested, hit me up. I designed them with parts that would make them the ultimate AR-15 for just having fun and shooting, for competition, for self-defense, everything you could need an AR-15 for. This gun was designed to be that. The problem was in making a really nice AR-15, we had to use really good, high quality, high priced parts in it. And it made the price of that gun go up. They were, they were in the 2000s. They were like $2,700, and someone wanting a nice Air 15, it was a great value. But we cut out a lot of people who wanted a Demolition Ranch Air 15, but didn't want to spend $2,700. These guns are a collaboration between me, of course, F1 Firearms, of course, and EMG International, EVIC Airsoft. They helped turn these real guns into airsoft guns. And so, as you can tell, just looking at this table, they look the same. You cannot tell the difference in airsoft and real gun. If you just walked up to this table, you'd have no idea. What's crazy is they got the cutouts and everything. I mean, 
look at this. Like, they, they skeletonize everything. They skeletonize the uppers as well. So cool. The top of these upper receivers is scalloped out, skeletonized as well. They have it too. Everything is just like the real guns. We decided to go with Evic Airsoft because they're the industry leaders in Airsoft, and we knew that they would be able to not only do this, but do it really well. Real gun or Airsoft? I don't know. I don't actually have sights. The battery's out on this, so I'm, I'm kind of winging it. Before we go any further, let's go shoot the real gun, just so you can see how cool it is in real life, and what we were trying to make this gun do. Been raining for like a week in Texas, so we're taking the only vehicle. They won't get stuck. I mean, that one wouldn't, but it also won't keep me very dry at all. It's gonna be a mess. All right, let's see how the old Humvee does. That's sloshy. It's like butter. I'm making it so easy. This is a piece of cake. AR-15s in general are they're my favorite. They're my favorite if I need to do a competition. They're my favorite if I'm just playing around. And if I ever, you know, if there's ever an apocalyptic type situation, they're the gun that I would take. And the Demolition Ranch AR-15 is made to be the best out of every AR-15. It's lightweight, it's easy to maneuver, it looks awesome, it's got a great trigger. I have a 6X scope on it. It is just everything I want out of an AR-15. So great. And there's nothing better than dumping a mag out of an Air 15. <laughs> I love it. But the problem is, not everyone, well, for one thing, is old enough to buy an Air 15, or is in a location where they can go shoot an Air 15, or is in a financial position where they're able to go buy a really high quality Air 15. But these airsoft rifles, on the other hand, can be shot in the middle of the biggest city. Because airsoft fields are everywhere. They have indoor fields in the middle of huge cities. And you can shoot them in your backyard. And, I don't know if you know, but that AR-15 is semi-auto. So is this. Or you can go ahead and flip it over to full auto. And you can shoot it full auto anywhere. In the middle of a city, at an airsoft field, in your backyard, in your garage, in your parents' bedroom. Maybe not in your parents' bedroom. Uh, everywhere else should be fine though. Humvee, good going. Proud of you, bud. Handle that like a champ. I did some research on airsoft guns and the prices that they go for. And what I found on the low end is like the $0 to like $200 range. They're kind of the, the low end, like cheap, uh, not great quality guns. And then you go all the way up to like thousand dollar guns and even more. And those are all the high end, fancy, kind of specialty high quality guns. And then everything in between that $200 and thousand dollar, those are kind of the, the guns that are great quality without getting too fancy and specialized. And that's where we are. We are at $425 with this gun. We actually have two models though. And I'll tell you the difference. This one versus this one. The $425 one and the $799 one. That is a big jump. And the only difference between these two guns is the coating. This coating has a matte finish. And if you come over here, this also is matte, but it's a little less shiny. And the difference is this gun is hydro dipped called water transfer. Two different names for that same kind of coating. This one is Cerakoted. The Hydro Dip is a very nice coating. It matches the original gun very well, but you can see it's a little bit shinier. I don't even know if you can tell. It is a little bit shinier than the actual gun. The actual gun matches the Cerakote a lot better in sheen. This is the Cerakote finish. It will wear a little better than the Hydro Dip finish, 
and it just has a little bit less sheen to it. The Cerakote, in my opinion, looks a little better. You have to decide for yourself if it's worth the extra $360. The reason it's that much more expensive is because they actually have to take this gun totally apart and someone has to spend hours making this Cerakote finish, whereas Hydro Dipped is a much easier process. We just wanted to offer that finish in case there are people who want their gun to be a little bit better, a little closer to the real gun, and a lot of guys like getting their Airsoft gun Cerakoted, so now it's done you don't have to do that and if you were trying to get this pattern seracoded i doubt you could do it for 360 dollars extra or whatever it is so that is just a if you want the regular base gun that is hydro dipped is 425 the seracoded version is 799 we were not sure if the people who are buying this gun are going to be airsofters or if they're going to be totally new to the sport of airsoft so what we did is we separated some things out so this gun will not come with a battery or a charger or a sight. All it will come with is a mag, and we have those all separate on the website. Just FYI, I know someone's gonna buy it and think it comes with that and then get mad at me when it doesn't. But it says very clearly on there, does not include those things, but you can add them if you want them. I just knew that some airsofters already have their batteries and their chargers and their scopes and they didn't wanna pay for extra ones. So you can buy it a bare rifle if you want, or you can buy it with the extras and we'll have it all shipped to you all at once. What other fine print do I need to tell you about this? These things will be shipping out in like a month. So I think we're saying uh, somewhere between October 15th to November 15th is when we will have them shipping out. So right now we're just in pre-order. You can go online and order them now. And these are very limited. They are being built and I, I really don't know the demand we're gonna have for these guns because I've been talking about them for a while and you guys have seemed very pumped about them. So they are limited. We can't make infinity of them. So if you want one, get them now. We uh, are really excited to be bringing these to you, and we're gonna be doing lots of airsoft stuff now. Uh, mostly on the Off The Ranch channel, I think. I'm gonna try to keep this channel as airsoft free as possible, because most of you guys like real guns. So I apologize if you're like, uh, oh, there are not enough real guns in this video. But this is something that we have been talking about for a long time, so I had to show you. Also, I'm gonna do one more real gun thing real quick. Sort of, it's sort of a real gun. It has gunpowder. My plan here is to see, uh, how long it takes these things to come down. I'm gonna fire them straight up. As you can see, uh, it's kind of full. And I'm gonna kinda see what happens and how long it takes them to hit the barn. <laughs> They're everywhere. Mary's gonna be like, what are all these little BBs everywhere, all over the yard, and all over the driveway, and all everywhere, and I'm gonna be like, I have no idea. That's so weird that they're, they're just all, it's like, maybe they're spider eggs. Maybe we have a spider infest. I don't, I don't know. Also, you get a t-shirt. We're giving a limited edition t-shirt away with every airsoft rifle sold. I hope you like them. I hope you love what we've done because we worked super hard to get these things to become a reality. Also, I would like to meet you. If you would like to meet me, you can. I will be in Alhambra, California on October 20th for Airsoft Con. We're going to the Evex store to do a huge airsoft meetup and it's open to the public and it's totally free. So if you'd like to come, you can meet me and I will be there showing off the Demolition Ranch Airsoft Rifle and I would love for you to come check it out. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. Go check out the link in the description if you wanna get yourself a Demolition Ranch Rifle. It will be there. You're gonna love it. I love you and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Uh, don't move, don't move. Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.